It's the all-new Power Mornings with Letty and Teddy. Let's go. We are Let's blessed every day, but we're especially blessed today. We have the one and only Kirk Franklin. Thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you so much for coming you, my through. Hey, you know, it's all good. It's all good. On God, I still it, believe it. On oh, God. But <laughs> oh, God. Now, now the intro is like we say choir director, gospel singer, uh, author. Uh, we can say uh, now producer. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on I'm now. Grateful. Like what you got God do? on speed God dial. No, no, I got the same number y'all got. Uh, no, I keep telling you. So we DM God, but he responded all the time. Like, that's the you love. might leave us on red. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, man, I'm glad that you brought that up is because I do think that sometimes people feel mm. that, that somebody that may be in church or somebody that may do, you know, like gospel music right. or preach or whatever, that they got like this heavenly hookup that everybody else don't have. Mm. And that's like a lie. Right. It's like God's love for his children is all his kids. Right. Amen. You mm-hmm. dig what I'm saying? And so yeah. nobody has a VIP section right. with, with, with God. Like his heart is open to everybody, even little people like me little, and you. Like, even, look, little, even, <laughs> even little what? vertically challenged ones I'm gonna ones give you like another us. little Bible trivia. Cause is it John that when he talks about God, he says like God, God's favorite son. He doesn't even refer to himself as himself. Mm. So that's you. <laughs> like See, like God loves everyone. No, no, no. He gave you some talent. Yeah, come on. No, he gave you I the, don't know the why we of listen. Here. Listen. Who first of all? Right. First of all, okay. Who would want to rock with a God? With a God? Who Who would want to rock with a God mm-hmm. that has specials? That's very true. True, 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 true. See, but when we when we mean something, we say on God. Yeah. But when you say it, it's just different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on God. I'm not gonna win this. One. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. win this. One. But, but listen, this is a monumental moment mm-hmm. uh, because obviously Friday, uh, a movie that you produced, a movie that we actually watched, right. is out on Lifetime. 8 p.m. Saturday. 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 Well, Saturday. It's the fourth. That's right. Mm-hmm. On Saturday. Saturday yeah. December fourth. Kirk Franklin's A Gospel Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time for the one yeah, time. Yeah, 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 this yeah, thank is the you. first film you've produced. This yes. is the first one. Yes, yes, yes. Very excited. Thank you to Lifetime right. for giving me this opportunity. And more than anything, I just want to showcase the talents and the skill sets that, that exist within the genre. Right. Because, yeah. you know, a lot of times you don't really hear gospel music until like somebody popular dies and somebody mm-hmm. sings at their funeral Man. or like on a special occasion. Like you're not even reminded right. that the genre still exists there, right? Yeah. But, you know, think about it, man. God Gospel music has influenced all the popular culture from Sunday service mm-hmm. on down to mm-hmm. to, to to a Mariah Carey, right. to a Whitney Houston. Yes. These are people that started in the black church. Mm-hmm. And so for me, I just want to bring attention to the foundation of it all is right. because everything that you love, like, like your popular pop star, mm-hmm. her background singers and band. They're from the church. Yes, yes. All day, every day. Yes. Like, st- like still in 2021, 20, 22. Right. And so for me, it's like, well, instead of celebrating them when they leave, let's celebrate everybody that's still there. Right. right. You dig? And so um, this is hopefully God's willing. This is the, this will be one of many more right. so yeah. that I can showcase how crazy dope the genre is that I come from. And I, I love that. I know you mentioned like starting in the church with a lot of our favorite singers, right? They start within the church Amen. and then they leave. Like yourself, like, and, and like knowing your story, like you started and you came back, right? Like oh, you, it's, I never left. Right, well, I, well, you took like you took a step away. You you had to go through your childhood experience. Very young, by the way, because uh-huh, you know uh-huh. obviously you started very young, and I think that's amazing. And this story, uh, this you know Kirk Franklin's a gospel, uh, uh, was a gospel Christmas. Yes, sir. What's amazing about it? It's a really well told story because there's so many messages that you give. I think mm. one of the ones that the moment I heard it. I was like, I thought about you. What's I that? What's about that? Us as, as as a people. You said when the main uh, you know the 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 main character was told you were born to lead, right? You mm-hmm. were born to lead. Mm-hmm. My question for you, because you started at such a young age, at what age did you realize that you were born to lead? You know what's amazing is because I was adopted and right. and, and and had a lot of abandonment issues. Really, uh, having a, a value of self was something that I never had coming up as a kid. Mm. And 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 if I can keep it where it's like really no cap, I still, as a grown man, still walk through the process of self value. Mm-hmm. Like I see value in you before mm-hmm. I can see the value in me. And yeah. so, but at at the same time, I've also become really cool. Like on God, mm-hmm. I've become cool when understanding that a lot of whatever deficiencies that I may have, that they're also there to keep me close and, and even more dependent on God. Mm-hmm. So I'm good with not being the most confident, know it all, you know, you know, kind of cocky dude in the room. Right. Right. It's it's because if I was, maybe that would lean me a little bit more to more self confidence that I wouldn't be leaning 
on God wow. as much as so you know um, we all have weaknesses that when we view them sometimes in a different because sometimes how you see the problem is the problem mm -hmm. and so sometimes when we can see our deficiencies as opportunities that in, in my weakness spiritually I find more of a bigger strength and power because God ain't got to fight me for that steering wheel it's like I'm not trying to fight him to, to drop. Him. Yeah, you yeah, dig yeah, what I'm saying? Commit. It's already like yeah. you quit because you know you can't do it. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times we think that a, a, a lot of the problems we find in life is because we're trying to drive in lanes that God himself has already been in. Right. And it feels <laughs> like if you just scoot right. over mm -hmm. and let your guy drive, yeah. Yeah. I know where I'm going. I he know what I'm doing. He went there before. Come on, man. Got to follow. Come on, man. Yeah. Anywhere Ooh. you go, he's been there already. Already. <laughs> already. <laughs> already. <laughs> already. You know what's wild though, Kirk? Like, when I look to you, I see that although, like, you are your own individual person and going through life, but you take on a lot of people's moments where they need strength, right? Mm. I think especially for here out in L.A., um, Grammys, when you helped tribute Nipsey on the day that Kobe died. Isn't that crazy? At the Grammys, at Staples Center. Isn't that crazy? Insane. I'll but never when forget you it. go on stage, and and granted, the whole tribute was incredible. Mm -hmm. Whole tribute was incredible. When he, we hear Kirk Franklin go on stage and the choir right behind you, it feels like everybody needed that. Wow. You know, like really it was something we all needed to be there to wow. pre to present yourself, the word and the music like that. Did you feel like it, it, you know it's heavy? Mm. It felt heavy. L.A. Mm. has felt heavy for a long time still. Wow. But you helped. Wow. With that, I don't, I don't even know if it's clarity, but you help with the comfort that night. That is night. so beautiful of you. That's so kind of you. You know, and, oh man, I don't even respond to mm -hmm. that. I, it's, I think that that. Well, first of all, that happened on my birthday. Like, oh, like, like, January, like, wow. yeah, yeah, January twenty sixth mm -hmm. was when that happened when when we lost Kobe in that same performance. And yeah, so um, and so you know, I'll always remember that. Right. You know, but but I think that every human being is created to be other centered that the reason why there's so much such a lack of empathy in society mm -hmm. the reason why we see so much so much problematic execution how we just walk out with life with each other is everybody's very focused on them yeah but if i exist for you mm -hmm. and you exist for me then both of our needs get met right yeah but because we're so self-focused on, I'm going to make it, I'm going to this, that's why there's a rise of anxiety. Yeah. That's, that's the rise of all these mental and also uh, social issues and ourselves psychologically is because we were never t we were never created to be uh, just with any silos within self-independence. Right. I was supposed to always live on this earth to be a light for others mm -hmm. like everyone else is. Yeah. And I think that when we think that people with platforms are supposed to be the only light, we forget the power that God has put in us Man. as well. It's like God is like, I can use you too. Mm -hmm. I can use you too. But but as a society, we become such a filter culture. And when I say filter, it's because when you look at IG, we see the beautiful part of people because everybody has to filter on. Right. So we never know how people really look. We right. never know how people really live, how people really feel, because everybody lives with the filter. Right. And so if you come to God with the filter, you don't allow him to get to the real you. And God is like, I want to use yeah. the real you. Mm -hmm. Don't pretty yourself up. Right. Yeah. Use your mesh. Use your ish. Use yeah. whatever you got because that's going to be a testimony yeah. of somebody else get out of this. Yeah. I'll oh, qualify Lord. You. There's a saying. It's like God doesn't call on the qualified. God qualifies the called. Preach like, love, mama. He, he's going <laughs> to find you and put you in position. Now see that toilet you. paper that you threw a minute ago? You need to throw it now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but she's that. Psh. Uh, I did have a convo. I I want to just touch base on this because I know we asked kind of like, I don't know when you knew that this was for you. Um, I had this conversation with Nipsey when he knew wow. to come closer to God, and he said, you know, it's crazy. It was when I was incarcerated. I was incarcerated and I didn't have nothing but time, right? Mm. And so I started reading the Bible, and I felt the most purposeful and when i got out is when i just was straight on my vision and my path and i think it's crazy that it takes being encapsulated like that yeah. to then turn to self because yes. you have nowhere else to turn yes. but it's also uh shows you that society is meant to distract you so you don't do yes the inner work yes. you know yes and sometimes god allows us to hit rock bottom mm -hmm. to show us he's the rock at the bottom yeah Whew. man that's so powerful <laughs> I, I i one of the uh 
besides everything you said right Incredible. now. Incredible. One of the greatest things I ever heard you say when they asked you about Kanye and where's his place in gospel music and you, and, and in Mount Rushmore. And, and in doing so, I think they kind of complimented you. Like, of course, you're, you're on that Mount Rushmore mm-hmm. of gospel music. You said no. You said only one person is on that Mount Rushmore, Amen. and that's God Himself. Amen. And uh, like I love that because even in a moment where you would think you've accomplished so much, you'd be like, "Okay, yeah, I'm there." And this, but you, oh, you no. don't. You always give it back, oh, no. and I think that's amazing, especially for someone who's accomplished so much. And and the fact that you find it amazing is I find the most concerning. Really? And yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I wow, find. So. Well, as I find that whatever execution of thought that I have should be normalized because I believe right. that every person that says that they rock with God should 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 attempt to want to model his mindset mm-hmm. and the attributes of his character. And so for, for, for a person to be deflective of glory is really should be normalized in the way that it should not be about us. I think right, that's why right. we that's right. what we build monsters in society is because we give people glory was not built for the shoulders of man. Mm. Man can't handle glory. Glory was built for the one that it belongs to. All we're supposed to be is just deflectors and billboards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be billboards that I represent and, and 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 we we are to advertise God. Yeah. We're to it's like you know, but 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 again. The, the fact that it's not normalized shows me not on your side but on my side yeah, I was about to apologize I was like hey, my bad. I, 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 I was like I didn't know Kirk my, my guy my guy my guy I'm talking about people yeah. people that have the microphone people that say that they rock God I'm saying that we internally need to do more work so that we can be better representatives of what it should be to people that are watching yeah yeah why I like, of course, when when you're talking about God and when you're being of service, there's so many different routes to go. You could be philanthropic. You could be a priest or a pastor. Mm-hmm. You chose music. Mm-hmm. Why music? And do you feel like that is the that's the avenue to get closest to God and to heaven and to speak? I feel. Mm-hmm. I'm quite sure you've heard people say this a lot. Just being in the business you're in, as I think anybody that does music will always say to you that they didn't choose music; the music chose them, mm-hmm. right? You yeah. know, I mean, yeah. you know, you, you you have no idea as a kid. You know, when you walk around in your underoos and walk around the house in your drawers right. and you got the brush in the mirror and you're doing spins, you know, and your mom said, "Turn that music down." You know what I mean? I mean, you <laughs> you have no idea. Right. You know, you know. I, I mean, I had no idea that even when I was failing all of my major classes my freshman year because I stayed in the drama class the band Mm -hmm. class and the choir class all freaking day and then I had to repeat that grade in summer school and (laughs) and still flunk but that's a whole other conversation (laughs) hold hold, hold, hold (laughs) on hold on I'm going to talk about trauma right now that is something because my mom is going to watch this and she's going to be like take your arm you touch my god that's right mom I did something with my life (laughs) that's so funny me touching your arm she's a different you next to him yeah you know like it it really chooses you, yeah. and 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 at the same time, something to also give you some context. Sometimes that can be a dichotomy, also for your faith, mm-hmm. is because sometimes the God that you work for is not always the God that you know. Mm-hmm. It's because you can be so busy working for God that you never really get to know God. Wow. Where, yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 Sir. that 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 when your faith is also your occupation, yeah, that can be a paradox. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I thought I had this question. I was like, I'm gonna ask this question. It's gonna be the one. But now I'm hearing you talk. I'm like, all right, how's he gonna answer this one? Uh, in the message <laughs> so of the movie, the one thing that just stayed with yeah. me was uh, the uh, the female pastor who she was the assistant pastor. Now she's the lead mm-hmm. pastor. She felt like she had to live up to the expectations that others have of her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so expectations with you. I mean, you're Kirk Franklin, right? All eyes are on you. Like, do you always feel like you have to live up to these expectations that sometimes being normal is not living up and having your ups and downs in your life as a man, right? Mm -hmm. As a husband. Mm -hmm. Like, is it like, do you find yourself like having a hard time dealing with the expectations that everyone has of you? Like, you got to be perfect because you're Kirk Franklin. It's probably early on, but I began as I began to get older and more mature, even in my faith, I began to even debunk those ideals is because. Uh, a true Christian life is a life that is full of flawed errors and and mistakes. You look at yeah. the Bible. The the Bible is full of murderers and prostitutes mm-hmm. and liars and thieves and yeah. swindlers and and you know like 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 all the people that we uh, 
uh, reference and we quote them. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, these are you know hobos and winos and bums yeah. and yeah. you know, you know, you know it's, it's like the lowest of the low. And so I've learned to also lead by the by the honesty. And and so the reason why I no longer feel the stress to be able to live up to something is because I live up to the truth and I communicate the truth. I'm just as flawed on any day. Catch me on the wrong day. I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna say the wrong thing. I'm gonna do the wrong thing. I'm only here by the grace of God. Don't follow me if I'm not following him don't rock with me if you don't see that light shining on me because I am a man mm -hmm. but man. all that said <laughs> you're so cute you're just... I have never seen you look bad <laughs> like your outfit oh, oh, always oh, talking, always like you ain't the, never gonna oh, be bummy the like there was bumps in the bible oh, but you gonna be drippy every day <laughs> oh, 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 y'all are too kind y'all are just oh, <laughs> oh look at the watch oh, that I have oh, oh, oh my right, goodness oh, oh, oh right. my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness I didn't mean to, I didn't mean oh, to do that. that. Oh, I didn't mean oh, 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 oh. <laughs> But see, but see, but see, here's the thing though. When you're a little guy, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you're able to get stuff at a cheaper price because mm -hmm. you don't have to pay for all the fabric. Why do you, yeah. always do that? you know what I'm saying? You know, seeing you know, you know, so it's like I get my stuff, but I get a chance to get it right. fifty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> God is watching. And uh, this is just and uh like this ring, I've had this ring for twenty five years. Wow. This is a this is like a, you know, eight hundred dollar ring. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's uh, what you do with it. It's how it's all put together. Oh, it matches the buttons, matches me. the Talk watch. Like, and I like it's Talk always fly. And the shirt, a homeboy of mine made the shirt. Oh That's word. Yeah. Okay, you know, you support, yeah, yeah. And they support yeah, the family. I yeah, love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, you know, as I do a little bit, you know, you know, here and there, you know, so I find some bit of thrift more, I find something that'll mm -hmm. resell, I find some nice, you know, you know, and I put it all together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fire, yeah. Find Kirk Frank and let a fire spider this, man. That's the LA style. So we'll say it again. Fire spider. We'll take it to the Santiago. We'll take it yeah. to the. No, no, no. Teach me. Say it again. Well, well, fire, 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 What does that mean? I don't know. You don't well, want to go quick. there. No, you <laughs> don't want to go there. Santi Alley's in downtown where everything is cheaper, and no, I might be real. Kirk, I've been there. No. Come yeah, on, I've been Kirk, there. Kirk Frank has been to the Santi Alley. This is it. This I've is been there. What were you doing at Santi Alley? Sometimes you can get fabric down there, right? Oh, that's yes. True. Yeah. You got a couple Bibles on the low, you know what I'm saying? But they got some chapters missing. They got some chapters missing. Now, a couple songs is missing, but. Half off for real. That is hilarious. Now, do you know? Let's see about the daddy prayer. Now, Kirk posted this on Instagram, <laughs> the daddy prayer, because him, his daughter wow. and her friends were going out. Did you out. see that? I, yeah, they were going to go out to the club, have a good time. Uh -oh. So he did the daddy prayer, which is basically, would you like to explain I was like, I, you know, as I gathered her and her friends in a circle, and they <laughs> oh, were all right. dressed, and they look going out dresses, and I prayed that there'd be no booty grabbing. Oh, my mm -hmm. god! I prayed for the spirit of twerk. Hey, come on now, amen. I prayed against the spirit of twerk. Against? <laughs> yes. I, I yeah. prayed against the spirit of twerk. And what else did I say? This in the is prayer? incredible. And yeah. I said something about, what did I say? Oh, and I said, and I pray for my daughter that she doesn't get the spirit. And I was like, well, Lord, you know, she has the spirit of twerk. Uh huh. And so, we Lord, I rebuke that. Yeah, yeah. We have, but we got to rebuke that. Spirit. take that out. And, and then I ended the prayer by saying, Mama say mama 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 <laughs> sorry, from Michael oh, Jackson. Man. And I said amen. Because amen. Letty and myself were like, how many prayer requests mm, do does Kirk get? get? Right? It and must I'm be like, crazy yeah, because we thought, get. you know, crazy prayer requests. And then we heard we saw daddy prayer. I'm like, okay, so it's not far fetched <laughs> to, to get, get something. Get ready, out. Kirk. Because we have a prayer here. He has a prayer. I have a prayer. <sighs> okay. As an Angelino, Kirk. <sighs> okay. I need you uh, to pray over our Los and Angeles you were, Lakers. Yeah, your music was incredible for Space Jam. So what you yeah. did for that movie, we need you to do for the Lakers. <laughs> LeBron because LeBron and the is Lakers, right there too. Russell Westbrook and AD. We're having a hard season right now, yeah. and we need this season to end in whatever God wants to end. It. <laughs> yeah. Can you please pray, quick little prayer over our Los Angeles Lakers? We need it right now. LeBron's a guy too. Come on, let's go. All right. Let's feel it. Okay, um, I'm, Lord, I'm not going. to pray to you about this one. I'm going to pray for the city of Los Angeles. Yes. Okay. Los Angeles, I pray that this year all the other teams, mm. their basketballs grow flat. They're just <laughs> flat. They can't even dribble. I pray, Lord, that they cannot pay their electricity bill for their stadiums and arenas. In the dark. So that they have to play in the dark. Mm. I pray for a spirit of 
bowel movement mm. that touches every other basketball player but the Lakers. Give it to Curry, please. Mm-hmm. So that the runs mm. Mm. affect their runs. Mm. Affect their mm. runs. And help our championship run. And help the there? championship run. Double, yeah. triple entendre. Mm-hmm. And I ask this right now mm-hmm. in the name of Pepto Bismol. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Hey, man. Wow, look at, look at that. I appreciate that. Please play that, that before real. you do the starting lineup, Staples Center. Please do that. <laughs> the Lakers go on a 20-game winning streak. They got to thank you. Yeah. They, that was listen, all you. Yeah. I need court seats. Oh, okay. We can't, we, can't, oh, <laughs> your radio. we can't make that happen. You can make that happen. <laughs> you definitely can make that happen. Um, now, now, listen, uh, so you, uh, you got a new song with Mariah Carey and Khalid. Yeah. yeah. Khalid. 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 Grammy yeah. nominated yeah. too. By yeah, the way. yeah. So, oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, no. Well, yeah, well, it yeah. don't matter. I don't Not that song. That one will be Grammy nominated. It don't matter. Fall in Love at Christmas. The new song with Mariah and Khalid and yourself is Christmas time. Or the holiday season. Is it officially Mariah Carey season? As I think so now. As I think that she's winning right. that lane. And so, as I think you just got to give it to, to yeah, her. Just right. At this it. point, it's yeah, just it's like, yeah, why even try? You know, just you know, just let her have it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You got 11 more hey, months. Hey, Jesus, move out the way. Give it <laughs> <Jesus>. to Mariah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, got 11 oh, more months. <laughs> but this, well, well, and again, the problem is if you just give Jesus one month, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. See now? Now you gotta apologize. No, she uh, don't. Oh no, she God. don't. She killing it. Uh, Kurt killing Franklin's it. A Gospel Christmas yeah. is out this Saturday yes. on Lifetime, mm-hmm. 8 p.m. It is an amazing movie. Um, with, and it just, it's about family yeah. and love. And Got love. some love in there. And, and of love. course, God, because it all starts and ends oh, with God. Yeah. So, and I rearranged a lot of my gospel, a lot of my Christmas songs for my Christmas album. So, so, so they'll get some new, fresh arrangements oh, yeah. from oh, the classic awesome. uh, Kirk Franklin family Christmas album. So it's been fun. Yeah, and, and and thank y'all for letting me be. I mean, this is my, this my first time coming. in power. Man. I love that, and I, I and I gotta that. say, on behalf of the Latino audience, I know it's easy to kind of just uh, not understand the the broadness of your reach. Mm. Growing up to you, your voice still speaks to me. And what, although our lifestyles are different, I still there's a kinship here, you know. Amen. And we hear that through the music. Um, on a personal note, one of my favorite songs is "Do You Want to Be Happy." Really? And because it's very self like, hey, what's going on and how can you fix it? How can you talk to God to help you fix it? You wow. know, and I think that within Spanish gospel, we go on a lot about the faith in God. But I feel like there's a beautiful thing when Spanish gospel and African-American gospel yeah. team up. And that's something that you're doing. And we just did that with um, with with a um, Montier, mm-hmm. Mont- 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 Montaniers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a it's an, an uh, incredible South American family. Yeah. And uh, they had a big song called Amen. Amen. And I jumped on the remix and, and it's been beautiful. Oh. And I love them. And I and I thank them for inviting me. What is uh. what is your taco order? My taco order. Now, don't play with me when it comes to uh, Mexican food. Are you going to add cheese on that sucker? I just got to ask them. Brother, b- but you got to understand, as a Negro. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Mexican food. Yes. Okay. You don't understand. And are you, you know a what? Are guy? Are you a... Well, 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 well first of all, can I come back one day and, <laughs> and have tacos? Yes. And, well, well, <laughs> yes. Can we have a conversation one day? Maybe y'all can educate me mm-hmm. on something. This is a big conversation, and yeah. I know I got to go. Yeah. Can yeah. we have a conversation someday? And I would love to be on a panel if y'all ever have one. Yeah. What is the challenges sometimes with the black and brown community being oh, like this? Lord. I've never understood that. I've never understood why we don't have because we have so much soul and 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 influence and swag and sauce way more similarities than there are differences and i've never understood even i mean mean, as a kid i've never understood why don't we really connect and you know kirk in the city of la i mean it's it's even crazier like the bond like we are one honestly we have the same similarities and culture so we would love to have you here i would love that conversation and this last question i know the team wants you to go i love how you embrace you look alike with plies, right? I love it. And you posted plies performing oh Adele's Easy On Me, which was hilarious. It, are we using that to finally get a Kirk and Adele song together? Are we making this happen? No, ain't no Kirk and Adele song ever happened. That's Adele. You're Kirk. Kirk. Adele, Miss Adele, Miss Adele. Right, I get what you're doing, This is Kirk. a legend, Kirk Franklin. Yeah. yeah. Please. Yes. Yeah. Please. <laughs> I would not know. I, I'd be so nervous. 
I don't even know how I would act if I got a call. Are you kidding me? I really? Would, but I'd have bubble guts. Yeah. <laughs> I would. You would need the Pepto Bismol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Please. you, Kirk. No, thank you so much for coming through to Power 106. It's a blessing to have you. Come back anytime. Thank we would you. love Honestly. to further the discussions because yeah. it's someone like you who has love for all sides, all sides. To, to have this conversation. I love all people. Thank yeah. you all. Thank you, thank King. You. Oh, of course. Salute Salute to you. Kirk oh, Franklin. Franklin. Thank, you. thank you, Kirk Franklin. Go on you. The new movie yes. is out Saturday. Hey, go support it on Lifetime, please. Salute.